Hello and welcome to another episode of my Newcastle United save on Football Manager 2021. Today is a very, very weird one. We face Copenhagen in the Europa League and they're led by none other than Goal Linton. Since you last saw us absolutely thrash both Leicester and then Arsenal, we've only played one game and it was another blockbuster draw with Liverpool. Last time we played them 4-4, this time 3-3. So that's the only game we've played, meaning we currently sit uh, 9 points by Manchester City who are in 4th. But crucially, we're 2 points ahead of Leicester and just 1 ahead of Chelsea, but they've got a game in hand, which is a bit annoying. Today, we play Copenhagen. I've just clocked... Joe Linton's doubtful for this one due to a gashed upper leg, but he will probably be in for the second leg, as you can see there. Pierre Emil Hoiberg, yep, torn hamstring. That's gone well. He's not even played once for us. So we'll play both the legs against Copenhagen, and then I'll update you on the Bournemouth game in between. Let's get into things, shall we? No more messing about. We don't like messing about. I'm infamous for messing about. I'm not infamous at all. Um, I just mess about a lot, that's what I was trying to say. Now this team must be getting a little familiar to you now. Blanco in goals with Yedvai, Ayer, Garcia and Firpo ahead of them. Very, very solid ahead of them. It's just one goalkeeper, there's not multiple. That's cheating. Martin Bravka has popped up to say hello though. Suat Serda and Coop Miners in the middle of the park with Christie as the attacking creative spark ahead of them. Edwards and San Maximan. Edwards, still fit, no major injuries. Took a little knock before but, you know, just a few days, got through it. I'm proud of him. Callum Wilson up top with Dubravka, Lascelles, Longstaff, Fraser, Benedetti, Carroll and Morelos on the bench. And as you can see, there is no goal Linton. However, there is Danny Rhodes and, oh my goodness, Jonas Wind once again. Earth or fire there anywhere? <laughs> Do you remember? Oh, I'm sorry for anyone um, who's had to witness that joke more than once. I did it in my bringing back the glory save with Aberdeen when he played for Celtic. Oh, um... If you've just seen it for the first time, though, and you're, you know, new to the channel, welcome. Uh, stick around for more of the same. And we are underway in Denmark. They've got a corner. Pep Beal lobs it in, and they've headed over immediately. Stage it was. Good name. I can't believe Danny Rose is playing for Copenhagen. You know, Milan mustn't have been interested, eh? Oh, from, uh, from Milan. Yeah, so at the moment, Milan is a no at the moment. Okay. LOL. Another set piece for Copenhagen though, Pep Beal puts in once again, and they've headed over again, that time hitting the bar. I don't like this, I don't like this at all. Uh, let's demand some more. Not a good start from the boys. Actually, it looks like it has been going by the stats, but we've not seen any of it. But here is Ryan Christie, he puts a set piece in, it's headed clear, only as far as Coop Miner's got a lot sitting back there. Junior, put it down the line mate, he does. In, Carl Milson, shot blocked, they come clear, Pep, Jesus wept. It's absolute set piece chaos from the start here. Jesus, let's just calm down, lads, will we? Another one, Ruben Blanco. This time it's his own half. It doesn't really count, does it? Uh, it's now with Junior. What a signing he's been. Nine million quid he cost us from Barcelona. He's popped up with goals as well as assists. I'm being good defensively. Here's Marcus Edwards, though. Into Ryan Christie. Scored against Liverpool. San Maximan. Straight at Johnson. Uh, he also scored against Liverpool, actually. Very impressed with him. It's a great solo effort. You can imagine San Maximan goals always being solo efforts, can't you? It's half time, though. Fairly uneventful. We're on top but not leading crucially uh, if we can get out here with even a one goal win and a way goal that is decent second half underway and there's a highlight immediately uh, uh, that's not going to try say that name here's wind out to prep they've got prep and pep oh no wind's down the line come on stop the cross well done right let's break now san maximan nothing silly jesus christ that was almost silly victor nelson i've signed him for newcastle before in previous save edwards in behind it's now with callum wilson bury it no no not a chance that was woeful. And Johnson with a goal kick now. He hoys it long. Uh, it's only uh, found Junior though. And Callum Wilson. Play him in, play him in. Oh no, okay, guess not. Play it across now. The oak cleared. Don't let him out of there so easy. Uh, Sardar's ball all day long. Tin Yedvai back down the line. He's back from his suspension. Back in the team. Christie out wide. Here he is again. Fire it in, Tin. Fire it in, Tin. Edwards controls it. What's going on here? Absolute mayhem. Shot blocked. Ah! Somebody shoot and score, please. No. I guess not. Never mind. Ignore me. I'm talking nonsense once again. Now, with an hour played, not going to change too much. Just Marcus Edwards, Anson Maximon on an inverted winger's rules instead of 
uh, for inside forwards, and I started it before I even clicked confirm. Don't get sent off, Coop Miners. I think this is just a highlight because we were doing tactics. Then I press play. But, you know, stay tuned to find out. I guess that's the only way, right? Yeah, exciting stuff. This is thrilling. Thrilling on the Calm Right channel, as always. Wind. Inbound for Victor Fisher. No. Good, good block by Sinjadvai. Hit him. Former Middlesbrough man. Rubbish cor cross. It wasn't actually. Just no one was there to take it. Eh, thank God for that. Okay, never mind. Ten minutes later, Edwards comes off. Ryan Fraser. On you go. Winger support. And I tell you, Callum Wilson comes off too. And Alfredo Morelos with 20 minutes to go in Denmark. Let's see how we get on, shall we? Oh, oh I'm on the edge of my seat, I tell you. Uh-oh, a uh, Copenhagen throw-in. Stage in the middle of the park. Why have they got a stage playing for them? Not going to say that. Come on then, lads. Let's get in amongst them. Let's get in amongst them. This isn't getting in amongst them. This is a team without goal in as well. Come on, lads. They're nothing. They are fools and they are a waste of time. Good night. Gonna regret saying that. They're a great score, aren't they? Victor Fisher, Jonas Wynn, not him. Anyone but him. A great block onto B B B B Blanco is his name. It's not hard to say. I don't know why I struggled so much. Another set piece though. Pep Bell in Biel. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. What's happened, happened there then? They They're blaming Blanco, but I'm convinced the advice just hoofed it off him. Uh, what was that about? What was that about? Hit the post, and yet, Yedvai hoofed it off Blanco. Instead of letting Blanco just come and collect the ball, he decided to smash it off him. Why would that be a good idea, Ten Yedvai? Just tell me why. Tell me why did you get very far? No, you didn't. You hoofed it off your own goalkeeper. They're nothing. They are fools, and they are a waste of time. Good night. You are nothing. You are a fool, and you are a waste of time. Good night. Mm-hmm. Yep. Christie's going left wing. Andy Carroll's coming up top. San Maximan off. We're lobbing balls in the box, folks. I still can't click confirm. Uh, demand more as well. What's happening here? Nothing. Okay. Brilliant. Well done, lads. That is superb. Ten yard vibe. So in the last game against Liverpool, Musa Wagi played through uh, David Neres for a late equaliser for them, and now Ten yard vibe's just giving the ball away. I hope Norwich get. Uh, no, no, no. He's not getting the ball away. He's hoofed it off Blanco. What I was going to say was I hope Norwich get relegated so I can sign Max Ahrens for twenty nine million quid. He's got relegation release clause, but they're fourteenth. That's not going to happen. <sighs> just. Carry on, get on to the Bournemouth game. Oh no, never mind, we've got to do the draw for the quarter-final, which we're not in yet. And then we've got to the semi-final, when we're not even in the quarter-final. Who will we get? Oh, how thrilling. Oh, PSV or Rapid Vienna. Let's get through, please, so we can please, please, please have a Sir Bobby Robson derby against PSV. Alternatively, it's Copenhagen and Rapid Vienna, that's a Joe Linton derby. He was on loan at Rapid Vienna once upon a time. And the semi-final, which we won't be in, uh... Oh, we're out of the hat against either Rangers, Atalanta, Real San Sebastian, or Chelsea. It's Sociedad or Chelsea. Oh, shock. Look at the other ones. Ah, uh, Bournemouth. Yes, Bournemouth. Um, we were 1-0 down at half time. We got a penalty at the very start of the second half, about 51st minute. Carl Milson stepped up against his former club. Former club. Took it. It was saved. I hooked him immediately, Morelos came on, five minutes later he equalised and then his shot was turned in by San Maximan later on. Thankfully we won, it was only 2-1, look at that, should have been way 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 more. Which then means we are now four points clear of Leicester City, which is absolutely crucial. And what's also, and what's also crucial is the second leg against Copenhagen, let's get into it shall we? And there's a couple changes from the team in the first leg. Musa Wage comes in for Yedvai. Is anyone shocked? Amarelos comes in after his goal against Bournemouth. Wilson drops to the bench. But more importantly, there is a goal in in the Copenhagen lineup. Now, we are underway at St. James's Park. This is an absolutely huge tie. This is a competition that realistically we could win, but we need to overturn that first leg result, and here is Ryan Christie, he's lost the ball to Ankerson, and that is goal Linton, he has a good ball into the wind actually, and Prip in behind, this could be an awful start for us, I thought we were going to give him a penalty, here is goal Linton, he's playing in behind wind it looks like, Prip once again, they're combining well our Copenhagen, we're not getting near them, Serdar cuts out, but Christie can't get there, here is Zika, Prip now, hit him, hit him, hit him. Right, okay, we've cut it out. Nothing stupid, please, Newcastle. Please work it well. Here's Ryan Christie. A goal now would be excellent. Alan San Maximan, straight at Jonsson. 
rubbish, essentially. And a throw in. Here is Musawagi with Christopher Iyer into midfield now. Let's do nothing stupid, please. Ryan Christie on the ball. He's got some max man outside left. Oh my god, but he's hit the post. Wow, what a hit that would have been. Well, what a hit it was. What a goal that would have been. Well, it wasn't. It hit the post and went out for a goal kick. Ah, my plan has come undone. And it could come even more undone. Anchoring into that man again with the unsayable name. Zika. All the way back now. Come on. No, no, no. Press them. Press them. Prip on a yellow. Prip on a yellow. Prip on a yellow. Prip on a yellow. It's a great ball in behind to that man. Uh, no, no, no. Side netting. Thank God. And Musa Wage with another throw in once again. We've given it away though, but Sardar collects the scraps. Uh, he's got Sir Max Man to his left if he finds him. Uh, Junior instead in. Morelos headed over. And on that, we're going to take off, shoot on site, and make it into work, ball into box, and come a bit narrower in attack as well. Come on, Newcastle. Half an hour played. Mm, but it's a Copenhagen throw in. Anchoring. Jolinton flicks it off, flicks it on to Furpo. He plays for. Uh, Newcastle, mate, not Copenhagen, you idiot. Uh, you're playing for Copenhagen as well, just saying. Uh, Garcia now with Blanco. Uh, no one hoof it off in this time, please. That'd be nice. Uh, into San Maximan. Come on, you've got plenty men. Other side now. Out the other side. Out the other side. Out the other side. Anytime you're ready, Ryan Christie. That's not out the other side, and that's not working, ball into the, working the ball into the box either. Thanks, mate. Danny Rose with a free kick, though. Uh, now with Nelson. They are just playing it between them two, and Zika. Come on, I thought that referee was Ryan Christie. That would have been good, because uh, we could have pressed him, but no, no, nowhere near. Prip. Come on, stop him, Junior. Stop him in his tracks. Well done. Good block, mate. And Ryan Christie looks to break. Please don't just shoot needlessly. Uh, passing the ball. I'd rather shot needlessly than giving it away, to be fair. Uh, but press that man. Okay. Go on, Alfredo. Charge him. Don't break him, though. Don't break him. Uh, actually, you can if you want, to be fair. Uh, Zika. And here's Morelos. He's nicked in. Hit it. Score. No. Straight at Johnson. We're getting chances here, but not taking any. Still plenty of time to do so. And Ryan Christie has a corner. He puts it in. Garcia. And Garcia has scored his third goal of the season. What a signing he's been. Under 30 million quid. Still only 20 or 20 or 21. And he's only going to get better. A Spanish international. It's a good ball in from Ryan Christie. Questions have got to be asked of that goalkeeping. But I think whoever that was, who is it? Coop Miners did enough just to put him off by marking him. As I said at the set pieces. And 1-1 one, on one aggregate. We go in at half time. And I have to say that's deserved. 1-0 on the night. Let's see what we can do in the second half. I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. Um, the team talk's not gone well, to say the least. And I didn't even throw any water bottles. I was being nice, saying I was happy, because they are playing well. Eh, but no, they didn't like that. Ah, dear. We've not seen anything so far in this second half, and with only 20 minutes to play, so Ryan Fraser is going to come on in an attack winger role. Um, is that all we'll do? I think it maybe is for now. Stay tuned to find out more. Copenhagen have a throw-in, though, in the first highlight of the second half after that substitution. Joe Linton sort of... No. You actually couldn't write it, could you? You genuinely couldn't write it. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, dear Lord. Joe Linton has scored. We now need to score two goals in the second half with 20 minutes to go to go through because they've got an away goal and we don't. Oh dear, we are in trouble. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay, so Ryan Fraser switches over to that side. Uh, he'll go inverted winger and tell you what, Christy out there too, also inverted winger. Oh no, oh no, and Callum Wilson is going to come on, 20 minutes to play, ah, that is the worst thing possible that could happen, yet so, so, so football manager, you cannot write it. Oh, it's Lamana Lualua all over again. A highlight straight after, though. A goal now would be good. Junior don't, going down the left-hand side. He's got Ryan Fraser ahead of him. Get that ball in the box. He does, but it's hoofed clear. Musa Wage comes again. Still don't know how to pronounce his name. Please don't end our European... Escapades here. Shot blocked. Come on, get it off again. Junior down the left-hand side. He's got plenty of room. That's it. Oh, God. Okay, we come again. 
Please, Newcastle. Morelos in. It's head clear. That was useless. Sardar collects the scraps, though. He's got Junior outside. Come on, get it in the box. Yes, nope. Headed clear. Wage once again. Oh, my word. This is absolutely... I'm on the edge of the seat. My heart is racing. And Danny Rose, of all people, the former Newcastle man, has given away a penalty. Please, VAR, don't rule it out. Please, VAR, don't rule it out. This is dramatic. It is a penalty. And who's going to take it? Cal Wilson missed one in the last game and he steps up again. Not this time. Yeah, no! How did that not go in? Did the keeper save it or did it hit the bar? That's two penalties in two games he's missed. Why did I not change it to Coot Miners? Oh my word. Jesus Christ, I'm all over shop. Less than. I've paused it I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, oh, can I take Cal Wilson off again? We've gone. Two wing backs, both on attack duties. We're saving a sub for about five minutes to go. We still need a goal, uh, Andy Carroll. And I've got a feeling we're going to need a goal. It's looking like it, isn't it? Yep. Okay, it's Andy Carroll time. Forget everything. Forget everything. Um, who do we take off? Musa Wagi not having a good game. I'll tell you what we'll do. Okay, Christopher Iyer in there. Yep, okay. Junior Furpo, centre half. Deep line playmaker on support. You, uh, Marcel Mazala, also on support. Musa Wage, off you come. No, we don't want Morelos. Just made a hit of yourself there. As if Joe Linton scoring wasn't bad enough. Jesus, that was more of a struggle than it needed to be. Andy Carroll, of all people, to save the day. Um, okay, uh, I guess on to attacking. We've got nothing really to lose. More direct. Get those crosses in the bloody box, please, Newcastle. Oh, wow. Uh, Joe Linton's going to knock us out of the Europa League, isn't he? You're goddamn right. He's new knocked us out of the Europa League. Joe Linton has knocked us out of the Europa League. There's no point even scoring now, is there? Uh, nope, because even if we do, which we don't, uh, they still have an away goal. Oh, wow. This is heartbreaking and yet I can believe it because it's just so typical I said it was going to happen in the last episode and here we are again oh god this is so bad goal Linton if we don't get a good fee for him uh, I tell you in the summer what is that they're still coming Danny Rogue gave away apparently and Cal Wilson had it saved will he ever play for us again hmm stay tuned to find out that it's abysmal. Everything is garbage. That was so much more drama than I thought I could take, to be honest. I'm um, looking at the fixture schedule. Just league games now, no more cup. So we'll be back. Uh, we'll play the games against Southampton, Man United off camera. It'll be Wolves and Everton. Uh, I clicked on Leeds. Wolves and Everton. And then we'll be back with the final episode of the season against Aston Villa and Reading on the final day. Oh, Wow. Oh, dear Lord. Um, if anything, for my reaction to the Joe Linton goal, I think you should leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. If you haven't enjoyed, though, click dislike and comment down below. Let me know how I can improve my videos, maybe by not loaning out Joe Linton and uh, keeping him and giving him a chance and probably not playing Callum Wilson. Comment down below where you think we'll end up as well at the end of the season. <sighs> Will we qualify for the Europa League again? Who knows? There's only one way to find out, and that is by coming back and subscribing as well. Stick around. Ding that notification bell as well. I never do ask, but you should, because that gives you a notification, and you know immediately as soon as I upload. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have all enjoyed. I know I haven't, but you should all take care.